Hello and welcome to my channel Beyond Earth, your portal to the cosmos. February is all about the moon and its close encounter with stars and planets. Let's start with the first event. On February 1st, Spica will put on a breathtaking show as it cozies up near the crescent moon in the southwestern sky. This celestial pairing will be visible shortly after sunset, offering a mesmerizing contrast between the moon's silvery glow and Spica's sharp twinkle. To witness this cosmic dance, look towards the southeast soon after sunset. Spica will be positioned slightly to the upper right of the crescent moon. Just a few days later, on February 4th, the reddish heart of Scorpius and Taurus takes Spica's place alongside the moon. And Taurus will be visible in the south-southwest sky after dusk, just a few degrees away from the waxing gibbous moon. Look for Antares and the moon low on the horizon. The Alpha Centaurid is a minor meteor shower and will be active from 28 January to 21st February, producing its peak rate of meteors around 8 February. People from the Southern Hemisphere will be able to witness it from any location where the constellation Centaurus is above the horizon. This is the radiant point of the shower. That is, the meteor shower will appear to be coming from here. On February 10th, the moon reaches its closest point to Earth for the month, a phenomenon known as perigee. This makes the moon appear slightly larger and brighter than usual, offering a stunning celestial spectacle. And to add to the lunar extravaganza, Saturn joins the party this night, appearing close to the moon in the southeastern sky after sunset. Look for Saturn's golden glow to the right of the moon, creating a mesmerizing celestial triangle. Use binoculars or a telescope to see Saturn in its full glory. The following week, the spotlight falls on the king of planets, Jupiter. On February 15th, Jupiter shines brightly near the moon in the east-southeastern sky before sunrise. Jupiter shines brightly and could be mistaken for a star. I have made a video explaining how to differentiate between a star and a planet. Link is in the description. On February 16th, the beautiful Pleiades star cluster, also known as the Seven Sisters, joins the lunar dance. Look for the Pleiades shimmering cluster nestled close to the moon in the east-southeastern sky before sunrise. The Pleiades will be two degrees to the right of the moon as evening twilight ends at 11.45 p.m. UTC and will appear to shift downward and away from the moon until the Pleiades set at about 6.35 a.m. UTC. Later in the month, on February 22nd, witness a celestial waltz as the dazzling Venus and the fiery Mars put on a dazzling show in the western sky shortly after sunset. Look for Venus's brilliant white glow paired with Mars's reddish hue, creating a captivating celestial duo. Venus will rise first, followed by Mars. As February draws to a close, the moon reaches its farthest point from Earth for the month, known as Apogee, on February 25th. While the moon won't appear as large as during perigee, it's still a noteworthy celestial event. So, there you have it, February's astronomical calendar. If you have enjoyed the video, please hit like and share it with your friends. I upload the monthly astronomy calendar on first of every month, so subscribe to not miss out on them.